Hello Sunday School parents and children, Pastor Kruger here for another week of Take Home Sunday School. So our story today is about Deborah the prophetess. Now last week we heard about uh, Joshua leading God's people to take the city of Jericho. So between Joshua uh, and Deborah, we are talking about a few hundred years, 150 to 200 years between Joshua and our story today about Deborah. And our story does open indicating this this span of time between the two people, the two stories. The people served the Lord all the days of Joshua. Then there arose another generation after them. Um, so that's just good good to note because that'll help understand, uh, help us understand some other things in the story. So let's get into it. Question one. Why were the Israelites uh, in Canaan? Well, this kind of goes back to my little introduction. They're in Canaan. If you read the story carefully, they, uh, the people of Israel did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. A whole generation had passed. They had forgotten about the Lord and his promises. And it says here um, that, that the Lord sold them. He sold them into slavery uh, to the Canaanites uh, because they had forgotten about him. Um, so they are being punished because of their unbelief. Um, so God gave them over uh, to, to the Canaanites. They had forgotten about God and his promises. Number two, what two jobs or two roles or jobs did Deborah have? Well, we know her as Deborah the prophetess. Prophetess simply means a woman who speaks God's word. Uh, we actually hear about a prophet, prophetess in the New Testament, uh, Anna, where she's at the temple waiting, if you remember, for the baby Jesus uh, to show up, the Messiah to come to the temple. And so prophetess just simply means someone, a woman, who speaks God's word. Um, so that's what she does. Her other job, she is a judge, a judge of Israel. Now, a judge of Israel doesn't just mean she has a courtroom and she has a big hammer that she slams on the desk. Um, yes, she does judge things. She does take care of disagreements between her people. But uh, maybe in just a, an easier way to understand it, she was to care for the people. She she was over them. She, she ruled over them. Maybe not quite like a king or a queen. Um, judges were a little bit different. They would settle fights or arguments between uh, people. But by and large, her job was to lead the people, to, to take care of them. And we do really see that in the story. So she was a prophetess. She spoke God's word and she was a judge. Um, she took care of God's people. She was responsible uh, for them. And of course, we see that in our story. Um, number three, how did Deborah know they would win? Well, she knows because God said so. She knew she trusted in God um, that he would keep his promises and that uh, Israel's enemies, uh, that they, they would overcome their enemies, that they would win over their enemies. And in this case, uh, it's it's the Canaanites. So how did how did she know? She trusted God's word and promise. And that'll become important as we finish up our uh, of, up our questions. Uh, four, according to our senses and understanding, who should win? So this kind of goes back to the last question. So there was nine hundred chariots against the uh, against the Israelites. The point is this: Israel should have lost the battle big time. Um, there is no way that the Israelites who were, came, were coming out of slavery should win against chariots and horses and, and that big, uh, you know, military, the big military might uh, that was coming after them. There's no way they, they, uh, they should win. So to our senses, to our understanding, we would say, man, uh, the Israelites are going to lose, and they're going to lose big time. And if you notice, one of the characters in our story, uh, the commander Barak, you can tell he's a little nervous about this. Uh, Barak said to Deborah, if you will go with me, I will go. But if you will not go with me, I will not go. Because he was using his reason and understanding and thinking, this is not a good idea. Um, we, we're going to lose this big. But Deborah trusted uh, that God would take care of his people and uh, that they would overcome their enemies. And then finally, 
Uh, are there any other stories in the Bible that look like a bad idea but give victory? This is kind of how God God works through the Bible. Um, it, sometimes things look really bad that they're not going to work, and that's what our story is all about today. Uh, but trusting in God's word over our reason, senses, and understanding, and Deborah does that, and uh, and and the uh, uh, the Israelites are victorious over their enemies. But there's really a, the main story of the Bible has this this same idea: Jesus on the cross. If you think about Jesus dying on the cross, did that look like a good idea? Did it look like Jesus was winning when he was dying on the cross? No way. It looked like he was losing. It looked like uh, his enemies were beating him. But that's the way it looked to our reason and senses, right? To our understanding. Jesus is dying. Death means loss. But we all know that the plan behind Jesus' death was really a plan of victory. Uh, to get, Again, for God to care for his people, save his people, and give them victory over their enemies of sin, of death, of hell. So this is how, this is how God works. And so, uh, children, remember to trust the word of God over what we think especially when it comes to God's promises of Jesus saving us, uh, of Jesus continuing to forgive us. It doesn't always make sense up here, right, to our head, right? I, I think about Jesus walking on water. I can't walk on water. I've never seen anybody walk on water, but Jesus walked on water, and we trust uh, God's word over um, our own senses and understanding. And the story of Jesus dying on the cross is perfect. It looks one way. It looks like he's going to lose. And that's what it kind of looked like in our story today uh, with the Israelites going up against this, this big uh, military force. But in the end, Jesus was raised from the dead. In the end, uh, the Israelites were victorious. In the end, because of Jesus' resurrection, uh, we have victory. Um, so, like Deborah the prophetess, let us trust in the Lord's word over our senses and reason and understanding and see that the plan that God had about Jesus looked one way. It looked like it, he was going to lose, but he won. And he won big for you and me as he was raised from the dead. And so you, so will you. Amen.